Hello Assassins. So we all know the controversy around Paivor, the Paivor hero that is Eivor, um, the male version, that obviously, yeah, you can only get him through cubes or through buying. Um, it sucks, I know, but we have got a one star level one male Eivor to take out into a bit of gameplay. Um, we're going to showcase that. I am going to get a cube, unfortunately, but it's more for content and just for curiosity as well. I do want to open one of the cubes. I don't agree with it, not at all, but what can you do? It's just how it is, unfortunately, at the minute. Um, if you are new, hit the subscribe button. Nobody covers Assassin's Creed content like I do, well, Rebellion content. We will be live streaming the event tomorrow as well, so make sure you tune in for that. I'll have a gameplay video up of the female Eivor as soon as the event's finished. Obviously, I got screwed out of the deal because of the bug, so I couldn't pick up the early cubes for her. But that's coming back round. We can sort that out another time. But yeah, this will be your number one place for Assassin's Creed Rebellion content, especially with all the Valhalla stuff that's going on at the moment. Right, I'm going to get the cube. Um, I, I'm, I hate myself for this, but could I be the one in 1,000 that gets 346 fragments? Um, right, let's go. I've done it. I've done it. This is it now. This is it. What do we get? What do we get? Betsy 11. Two, two, seven. Yep, 11. 11 fragments for 200, 2,000 Helix credits. Absolute joke. I don't know why it's two. Why not more? But yeah, that will then 100% cement the fact that I will not buy another one of them cubes. Right. So let's get our close to two star. Eivor into a little bit of gameplay. So I've taken him into some early um, early missions and let's just forget the paywall thing for the minute. I'm just purely talking about the hero now. So we're not going to talk about the, the paywall as it is. We're just going to go in, see what he's like. So I'm taking him into the third mission. Um, he is a legendary, so he should be able to do it obviously a bit easier than a common. Uh, I've obviously played through this already, tested it out a bit, and he's not too bad. Right. So let's get this. Um, his, abili oh, his abilities, um, if we have a look at them. So he's got the ability here, which is defense is increased by 75% and 16% health is restored over 16 ticks. So he's got a nice little bit of regeneration. And let's see how these all scale. Um... So at five star, he's got a 15% chance to block all incoming attacks, which obviously Bayak and Apollodorus have got. Brawler, um, not too fussed about that. Right, so absorbs 100% of, of all unmitigated damage, incoming damage uh, for one tick. God, 250% damage absorbed for three ticks. Jesus, that knife goes up. Because um, at one star at the minute, it's only 100% damage so and only absorbs 50% of it as well. So this is someone that when he gets five star, he's an absolute brute. Um, defense is increased by 200% and 16% uh, health restored over. So he is, and, and it blocks the next attack. So I don't think I've got that. Yeah, so when you activate that ability going into a room at five star, you will block the, in the next attack. 100%. He's got a slowing ability here as well, so strikes for 100% damage and slows them by 20%. I mean, that sh hits even harder at rank 5 and slows them even more. So, he does look like he's going to be a very good hero at 5 star, but unfortunately, as we all know, there is obviously a bit of an issue getting him to 5 star. Right, his dexterity isn't great. Um, I don't know why they gave him the shadow ability. I don't know whether his weapon... Uh, will increase his dexterity enough to um, actually make it viable, but at the minute it isn't. So we'll go up behind this enemy because obviously he's he's got his back to us. So we'll slow him down a bit. He'll still get an attack off. Right, we can do the absorb damage, but he's got him down. He hit him for exactly as much health as he's got. His attack is fairly low, to be fair to you. Um, his attack isn't great uh, without obviously the weapons and everything to boost it. Uh, his agility is shocking as well, but it is what it is. Right, so let's slow this enemy down as well. I mean, you can activate that ability 
there's no point absorbing damage there because he is already done right so let's get a bit of regen on the go uh let's just throw an axis fella right that did all right damage get the absorb up if this doesn't kill him oh we dodged so it didn't really matter i mean he crit all right there he can handle himself all right to be honest with you um he's not too bad in a fight uh obviously it'd be nice to see what these abilities will look like higher up but so far he isn't a bad hero he isn't a bad hero at all uh he's not going to get you around the map that's for sure but i mean he's hitting fairly hard i mean considering these are rank uh, i mean the story mission free basically he's doing all right like compared to some of the heroes you would bring in here i don't i think yeah this is going to kill him outright i think we need to take him into a bit of a higher right here we go so if i throw an axe him lower his defense right we'll get the absorb up now so that's killed him but now he'll hit me i've, all right, I've absorbed 10 damage so i've absorbed 10 damage so i'm obviously going to hit that plus a percentage of what i do and it's 83 what would that be normally 83 so at one start that isn't really making too much difference to be fair to you he's not really gaining too much but we'll throw in axis fella let's get that off just in case but no he's done it i mean he is literally two shot in every enemy at the minute uh it's not too bad it really isn't too bad he he hits fairly well uh, the throwing axe ability is lovely uh the fact he can slow his enemies down as well isn't the 35 percent might help a little bit more at 20 percent, most of the heroes are so fast anyway that at the at this current time i'm two shot in them anyway the fact that they'll hit me back regardless then i'll kill them it, it doesn't really make too much of a difference but we'll go into the mission five here right let me just heal him up uh da, 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 where is he here he is right i mean look at his power level 333 bless him right so i mean this is a level eight mission um we'll see how he gets on we'll just see how he gets on we'll have a little bit of fun with him his abilities are nice um i think coming to end game content this could be handy i mean if you can absorb the damage plus obviously get a little bit of health back on yourself over time and things like that it's going to be quite nice but i mean you can see his agility and his dexterity are shocking they're even worse when it's behind one of these but let's fry an axis fella so we've um i think you can kill out right no you can't uh you can crit it though right so we've slowed him down which didn't really make much difference we should have really absorbed the damage there but he took him down all right this is just a bit where it gets a bit stupid so many traps i should have brought him into um right, let me go up here and do this with edward i would have cracked up if he'd failed that right we can come in here activate his ability so give him a little bit more defense which is quite nice we'll slow this enemy down he's see did you see that he blocked he blocked it then he blocked all damage incoming damage then which was quite nice so i've absorbed eight damage so if i hit him back and miss which is lovely uh, it's all right i mean that uh, i think you're gonna to notice that absorb damage difference you're gonna have to um take him in like have him fairly high star leveled and level because i just don't think you can really gauge it off of this when you're absorbing an extra 10 damage or something like that i don't think it's really making too much of a difference i mean he's struggling in here massively he this obviously his stats are just absolutely diabolical when he's coming to this type of content obviously for a few more levels in him uh that'll all change uh let's just go down here right we can heal him up anyway let's heal him up and give him some extra health i don't know why gasper hasn't got his weapon but oh well that's another day someone will moan at me about not having him equipped with the correct gear oh we've done that well done Avor. right should we try and sneak past someone 16 percent chance is he going to get pulled out of the hay yes he is and he failed that and this bloke's going to give us a little slap for our troubles but we'll throw an axe him 
I mean, for a one star with level one with one star gear, he, he's not doing too bad, to be fair to you. This could be a different kettle fish. This bloke looks like he could pack a wallop. I mean, there's some really good pairings you can use with him. I mean, obviously, giving him initiative and attack and everything will increase it. He's he's absorbed quite a bit of damage there. I mean, the hits like I hit him with apparently the damage absorbed and it did 51, and it, or 56 or something. And then I hit him again and done 61, which was not absorbed damage. But there you go, he's got me through it. So if I had him as a new player without even adding a level on him and give him a little bit of healing, he's more or less just done the first region for me, I think. I think he has done the first region for me. So, I mean, he's not too bad. He really isn't. It's obviously just the stigma of him being the paywall hero. Um, I'm looking forward to playing a female. I think she could be a lot better. Obviously, I won't do her at one star going through everything. I'll, um, up, I'll level her up because, yeah, it just she's more accessible. But you've seen he is a very decent hero. I quite like him. But you just see how terrible them cubes are. I mean, I've got 11 fragments. 11 fragments out of that. And just to top it all off, I mean, this deal here... Look at that, nearly 50 quid to just to get him to two star. Uh, well, it might actually work out a little bit more actually now because that's the rank two package. I think if you got the two combined, you, you could get him to two and a bit star, I think. But yeah, they've gone all out on this, absolutely all out. So yeah, I won't be opening another cube. Um, I can tell you that much, but all in all, to put in that side, he seems like a decent hero. His weapon damage on his legendary weapon looks like it could be um, fairly decent. I mean, if we go to hammers, I believe it's under hammer. What a joke. Uh, so if we have a look at this, what ability? So break apart enemy's armor with a shred, uh, sh shrundering blow each. So yeah. So you you basically ripping their defenses every time you hit them, and this does nothing for his dexterity either. So his shadow assassin, like his sneak ability, is going to be absolutely pointless, absolutely pointless. But the damage is good. The weapon speed is not too bad. It gives him a nice big defense and health boost. Critical bonus as well is nice. So the weapon looks like it's all right. I wouldn't really. Rely on him to be sneaking past people. Um, I just think that's a token gesture that they've put that on the hero. Don't know why they bothered, really. Um, but all in all, he plays fairly well. Throwing axe, nice, good initiative. Uh, hits reasonably hard, can slow the enemy down. Obviously, when you're getting up to end game content and you've got him maxed out with all the gear on, it'll be interesting to see how that damage absorb works because... Yeah, you're obviously going to t absorb more damage because they're hitting a hell of a lot harder. You've got better gear to take it as well, and you should obviously be able to dish it out so much harder. So, yeah, it'll be cool to see how he plays when we get him five star. But yeah, that could be the game could probably die before I get that. So yeah, but thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget live stream this Thursday. So that's tomorrow. Um, Probably about 8.30 Greenwich Mean Time. Going through all the difficulties. Obviously, the sword is behind the event, I know. But let's just have some fun. Let's just have a look and see what the new levels look like. And yeah, just pop in, have a chat, and enjoy the stream. Right, you all take care, assassins. Good night. Stay safe. And yeah, keep your chins up. Take care.